Did you know that Antarctica is the only continent on Earth without a native human population? This striking fact is just the tip of the iceberg, no pun intended when it comes to the overwhelming allure and intriguing mysteries of this extreme environment. Stretching over a seemingly endless horizon, the ice-crowned expanse of Antarctica is an unparalleled spectacle of nature's raw and untamed beauty. This breathtaking landscape is home to some of the most remarkable yet harsh living conditions on our planet. Its vast terrain, spanning 14 million square kilometers, mirrors the surface of an alien world. This immense space paints a picture of spectacular isolation, an untouched canvas of white punctuated only by the irregular peaks and valleys of ice and snow. This majestic white desert is larger than the total land area of Europe and Australia combined. It is a land of superlatives, the coldest, driest, windiest and the most remote place on Earth. This icy wilderness is a place of contrasts, an ever-changing landscape of shifting ice and sweeping winds, of frozen seas and haunting stillness, of endless white winters and brief bright summers. But Antarctica is more than just its geography. It is a symbol of international cooperation, a place of scientific exploration, where nations come together to pioneer research for the betterment of humankind. It holds the keys to our planet's past, present and future, locked away in its deep ice, waiting to be discovered. It is a treasure trove of scientific data, a time capsule of the Earth's climate spanning hundreds of thousands of years. Its icy depths hold clues to our planet's history and potentially to its future, providing insights into climate change, sea level rise and the effects of human activity on our environment. And yet, despite all its grandeur and scientific importance, Antarctica remains the last true wilderness, untouched by the march of human progress. This mesmerizing expanse of frozen wilderness, spanning 14 million square kilometers, is larger than Europe and Australia combined. Our journey embarks with a reflective glance into the past, all the way back to more than two centuries ago. Our story commences in the era when quills were wielded instead of pens in an epoch when the mysteries of the globe were still being unveiled. Antarctica, the last continent to be discovered, was first introduced to the world in the year 1820 by an intrepid Russian explorer named Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen. Bellingshausen, a nobleman and a daring seafarer, is often overshadowed by more renowned explorers, yet it was he who first cast his eyes on the icy landscapes of Antarctica, marking the first time a human eye had beheld this frozen, forbidding wasteland that is Antarctica. However, the tale of Bellingshausen is merely the introduction to the saga we are about to embark upon. Though Antarctica was discovered in 1820, the sincere exploration of this icy realm didn't commence until later in the 19th century. It was a time of great uncertainty, a time of danger and unknown perils. Venturing into the chilly wilderness was no easy task. The inhospitable conditions, the unforgiving cold, and the treacherous ice all contributed to making Antarctica a formidable adversary to those daring enough to explore it. At this stage in our tale, we must turn our attention to the annals of polar exploration, an area of historical research brimming with tales of courage, resilience, and human endurance. In these recorded chronicles, the year 1911 holds a special place a unique chapter in the unwritten book of human exploration. 1911 marked the culmination of a race to the South Pole, a competition of courage, determination, and sheer willpower. The world watched on as the bravest amongst the brave ventured out into the uncharted territories of the Antarctic, snowstorms and sub-zero temperatures, and in the end, the honor of reaching the South Pole was etched into history by a lone figure, a man from the far north, that man was the Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen, who managed to etch his name into the annals of exploration history as the first person to reach the South Pole. He triumphed over the extreme conditions and his rivals to leave an indelible mark on the history of human exploration, a testament to the audacity of the human spirit when faced with the unknown. His victory symbolizes the pinnacle of human endurance and the timeless quest for discovery. The geography of Antarctica is a spectacle of extremes. This land, which is largely untouched by human hands, presents an environment that is as breathtaking as it is unforgiving. Its climate offers an unparalleled view into the power of nature, with temperatures that plummet to levels that seem almost inconceivable. 
This climate capturing the title of being the coldest on earth is an embodiment of raw, brutal coldness. Captivating and chilling, the temperatures consistently dive to an astonishing negative 57 degrees Celsius, making it a harsh and challenging habitat. Underneath the polar skies, this vast expanse of white, also called the White Desert, the winds present another formidable natural force. These winds, with sheer power and relentless speed, race across the Antarctic ice at a pace that would leave the most experienced of explorers breathless. They whip across the icy landscape with speeds that escalate to an astounding 320 kilometers per hour, carving their path in the untouched terrain and reaffirming Antarctica's claim to extremity. But that's not where the extreme conditions end. This polar desert, despite its icy appearance, is paradoxically the driest continent on Earth. This fact, as unusual as it may seem, due to the exceptionally low amounts of precipitation it receives. Each year, the total rainfall that this icy continent manages to accumulate is less than 200 millimeters, making it a landscape where life struggles yet persists. To top it off, it is the driest continent on Earth, receiving an annual rainfall of less than 200 millimeters. This is Antarctica, a world of extremes, a testament to the raw power and beauty of nature in its most wild and untouched form. Yet despite these harsh conditions, life thrives in Antarctica. Here at the world's southernmost continent, the realm of ice and snow, a mesmerizing array of organisms continue to defy the odds. Enthralling in their resilience, these life forms have managed to find footholds environment that is notorious for its harshness, its inhospitable climate and its relentless bone-chilling winds. The backbone of this ecosystem are the plants clinging to existence in a world largely devoid of sunlight. Across the icy, desolate landscape, pockets of green can be found, a testament to life's tenacity. The variety of plants here may surprise you. Mosses, with their ability to survive in extremely low temperatures, carpet the ground in patches, Lichens, a symbiotic marvel of nature, can be seen clinging to rocks, surviving on nothing but the moisture from the air. Algae, the unsung heroes of this ecosystem, thrive in the waters, providing a critical source of food for other marine life. The fauna, equally, is a spectacle to behold. Penguins, those charming tuxedo-clad birds, are a common sight, their colonies dotting the coastline. Seals, both majestic and formidable, can be seen basking in the sparse sunlight or diving into the icy waters in search of food. Whales, those gentle giants of the deep, breach the surface, adding their songs to the symphony of life that reverberates across the continent. Each species found here, from the smallest lichen to the largest whale, is a testament to the wonder of evolution. The human footprint in Antarctica is confined to the scientific community. This icy, remote continent, at the very end of the world, is an unspoiled haven for those in the pursuit of knowledge. Antarctica's landscape is scattered with an array of research stations, each unique in its purpose and design. These facilities as a home, away from home, for the diverse group of scientists who travel the globe to reach this remote region. These researchers, much like the explorers of old, are intrepid, with a thirst for discovery that propels them into the harshest environment on Earth. They exchange the comfort of their homes for the freezing cold, the howling winds, and the near perpetual darkness of the winter. Yet they persist, driven by the allure of the unknown and the ambition to decode the secrets that Antarctica holds within its icy expanse. The focus of their studies is as varied as their countries of origin, ranging from geology, glaciology, meteorology to marine biology. However, their overarching objective remains the same, unraveling the mysteries of the environment and climate of Antarctica. These intrepid researchers brave the extreme conditions to unravel the mysteries of the environment and climate of Antarctica. Antarctica is a beacon of natural beauty and scientific intrigue. It stands as the final frontier of wilderness, teeming with unique biodiversity. Its role in Earth's climate system is fundamental. Therefore, it is incumbent upon us to safeguard this delicate environment, preserving its majesty for future generations. Thank you for immersing yourself in this journey through the icy wonderland of Antarctica. Please remember, every single one of us has a part to play in preserving our world's natural wonders.